Well, folks, welcome back into the Financial Safari. We've got a great set of guests today. Uh, if you're like me, you don't understand fully the tax code because it's about 80,000 pages and every now and then government comes out with some good things and we don't realize it and, and unfortunately, sometimes even our CPAs don't realize it. We're going to talk about something called an ERC and you may not be familiar with that term. You may be familiar with the term the PPP, the Payroll Protection Program, but the ERC is something I think is even better, and it's so overlooked, it's amazing. We've got Mark Sullivan and Josh Z joining us to talk about it. Guys, welcome in. Hey, welcome, Coach for... Now, let's go to you. Let's, let's start is... with, uh, well, I don't know who wants to go first, but whoever wants to jump in and go first, tell me what this is, and then let's get into uh, the benefits of everyone listening who's a business owner. Go ahead, go ahead. Josh. Oh, well, um, I'll, I'll really talk about what it started and uh, our quick backgrounds is we're entrepreneurs. You know, I'm a commercial real estate investor, not a tax guy, you know, and uh, through the pandemic, you know, with the PPP and EIDL, um, I have a couple other businesses and one was really suffering. And uh, someone told me, hey, President Biden amended this ERC, Employee Retention Credit, back in March of 21. So this is a month later. Here's another opportunity so you could, you know, help out your business as far as another stimulus package and COVID relief fund. Oh, okay, I'll take a look at it. So coming that it's from the Treasury Department, I uh, thinking I was thinking I had to talk to my CPA or my tax professional. Well, come to find out, they just they it's just a little too overwhelming for them, and it's not on their radar because it's more of a payroll credit. And uh, you know, when I got struck, I struck out about with five or six different people. I said, hey, here's an opportunity, you know, and I take the initiative of kind of like the book, Who Not How, and got the right who's around me. You know, Mark's, Mark's one of my partners, and uh, we just continued to build it, and, you know, now we're helping, you know, hundreds of thousands of companies. So, okay, but what is it? What's an ERC? <laughs> Mark. The, yeah, the easiest way to, to look at what ERC is, it is a refund to the business owner on W-2 wages that have been paid out during the pandemic. Okay. And more specifically, three quarters in 2020 and three quarters in 2021. So three and three. So, yeah. So is it uh, like PPP where it needs to be forgiven? No, it's not a loan. It doesn't need to be forgiven. It is one of the best credits out there with tax law. You talked about 80,000 pages. Well, they've added several hundred pages with this ERC. So what we've done with the company is we've gone out, even though we didn't have decades of experience with payroll, we've gone out and hired experts. Um, you know, uh, our fulfillment directors on the board of the American Payroll Association, we have uh, multiple attorneys looking at this, many CPAs and CPPs to basically provide a service to business owners and a way to be able to have them come in, get themselves qualified easily or not, and then we'll actually file the credit for them. And then it's a waiting game with the IRS. Several months later, they'll get a check back from the Federal Reserve. When the IRS is after you, there's no waiting game. When you when the IRS is trying to when you're trying to get help from the IRS, it's a big waiting game. So it's pretty funny. When they're chasing you, it's tomorrow. <laughs> now let's talk about the IRS. So if yeah. someone's done a PPP, can they also qualify for the ERC? It sounds like we're doing alphabet soup here, but can they qualify for the ERC even though they did the PPP? Yeah, that's actually why most people don't know about this program because when it came into legislation with the CARES Act, you could not do both. So there's a lot of misinformation where people think you cannot, or you can only qualify if you've had a, a business loss, a revenue reduction. But this has been amended as recently as, well, you know, December 2021. So just a few months ago from the date of this, of, uh, this radio show. So uh, yes, you can do both. And we're talking about big money here. A lot of times we're getting a credit amount to the company that's bigger than what they received with PPP. So it, it's big money. And it doesn't create a tax situation, you said, because it's, it's not going to be a forgivable loan basically that's what the ppp was so a lot of people still had to pay income tax state wise on that right so all right yeah they'll, they'll get you a yeah they'll get you a little bit on this yeah. uh, you don't count it as income but you do need to reduce your payroll expenses but uh at the end of the day it's um great money to the business owner that they can use for pr practically anything so if a business owner has, has still made money during 20 2020 and 2021 they still may qualify for the erc that's pretty good because exactly. a lot of people were thinking, I know a lot of CPAs were thinking, if you didn't lose money, you didn't qualify, especially with PPP2. When that came out, you had to lose money. And then the ERC, uh, that, I think that's been looped in with the same kind of uh, in the same bucket, I think. And a lot of it's been overlooked because I just heard about it yeah. from, from talking to somebody who knew you guys 
and said, you got to talk to these guys about the ERC. And folks, by the way, if you're watching or listening, you can go to ERCaction.com to find out more and to, and to put your own information in if you're a business owner to see how much you would qualify for ERC Action, A-C-T-I-O-N. Now, guys, what have you seen? What are some of the main advantages of the ERC besides uh, being overlooked, I guess? What, 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 are, what are some of the things you've seen that people have said, gosh, I wish somebody would have told me about this? Well, I think I think one of the biggest things is, you know, the part of this credit is it's up to twenty six thousand dollars per W-2 employee, wow. twenty six thousand ten employees. You do the math. But um, like what you talked about is a lot of CPAs overlooked a lot of these um, a lot of this part of this credit is because it has been amended a few different times. Mm -hmm. And we had people say, oh, yeah, I, my CPA or my tax professional looked at this in the middle of summer. I didn't qualify. Well, that might have been true at that time. But since then. You know, they added another amendment. Um, if you've had a supply chain disruption to your business, that could, you know, help you receive this credit. And so I tell everybody, do not pre-qualify yourself. You know, Forbes just did an article that says 70 to 80 percent of businesses should be able to uh, qualify for something like well, that's this. That's amazing. I know we have a lot of business owners that are watching or listening and saying, gosh, I didn't, I've never heard about this. And, you know, we all have, as business owners, we all have CPAs. We, we have a busy life, and so we want the CPAs to handle the tax code for us. And I know the CPAs get overwhelmed with the number of people wanting help, and sometimes they overlook things, or maybe they heard the, uh, the, the ERC before the December 2021 changes. And so that's why it's that we always say the tax code is a living and breathing entity and it's constantly changing yeah. sometimes for the better. And I was amazed because I think this is one of the best things I've seen the IRS is giving anybody who's owned a business. Yeah. And, and again, to find out more, all you have to go to go to ERCaction.com, put your information in and see if you qualify or not. And I think that's what kind of differentiates us. So one thing I always tell people is don't get mad at your CPA or tax professional and you know, like if you're going through a divorce, you don't call a real estate attorney, you call a divorce attorney. Right. You know, your CPA specializes in your income in 1040 and 1120s. We specialize in this area. We have CPAs and uh, payroll professionals sending us business because it's it's pretty hard to understand. Um, but do, don't pre-qualify yourself. And the part of our system is it literally takes you five or 10 minutes on ERCaction.com to go through the questions and to see, you know, what range you're qualified for. At that point, you're uploading a couple documents, and then it takes us about a week or two to get back to you on the exact amount you're approved for for your business. It's amazing. I went through it. I was amazed to find out how much I could get back for myself, even though I made money in 20 and 2021. So, uh, you know, because, because our supply chain has been interrupted, uh, the number of people that we could see reduced because of COVID. They weren't coming in, or they, well, they couldn't or didn't want to come into our office, and then a lot of people didn't show up to their Zoom calls and things like that. So it's, it's, but it's still been amazing to find out that there's something that's so beneficial to most or a lot of business owners out there, and no one's talking about it. I mean, I have not seen one story in the media about it. Have you guys seen? I mean, I haven't. Maybe you guys have. Well, you said Forbes is talking about it a little bit now, but not before then. I haven't seen anything. Yeah, the, the biggest reason for that, if you can kind of posture this with PPP, because there's a lot of overlap. First, both of, the, of those programs, PPP and this ERC, are COVID relief funds. ERC is the last remaining of the COVID relief funds out there. Okay, so um, when it first came out again, you couldn't do both, but who was benefiting on the back end? Basically, who was disseminating that information to business owners? Lenders. Lenders were making one to 5% on the back end of all the PPP loans. Yeah. With this program, it's not going through lenders. It's directly with the IRS. Uh, so you would think, well, lenders aren't in there. You would think accountants would help you with this. But as Josh mentioned, this is payroll tax and accountants don't do payroll. They do yearly taxes. They don't deal with where this credit lies on a 941 form. They don't deal with that form. Who does that with the business owner? Well, typically software programs like QuickBooks or ADP or Gusto. And so software programs aren't designed to calculate this credit because it, it's a, a busy work calculation if you want to look at it that way. And so there was no infrastructure, hence the need for our business to be able to have good people like you to talk to business owners uh, and let them know about what this credit is. It is getting a little bit more um, noticeable out there in the business world. But again, like I mentioned, it's only been opened up recently, less than 12 months ago, and really opened up even less than three or four months ago. And so it is basically uh, a new credit if you want to look at it that way. So the, the most important thing, I think, is that people do it the right way 
and don't get bogged down in the details. And that's what you guys can handle is, is help people streamline the process, sort of like being that guide boat through a canal, making sure people navigate the uh, rough and unsteady waters the right way to make sure they get their, their entitled money. Uh, because I think a lot of mistakes can be made from finding out about it to filing for it, can it? Yeah, with every amendment um, and change to this program, it's affected um, how you should be able to file. I mean, just the logistics of it. So we see very, very, very often where we will actually run through a second time with someone's ERC credit if they actually have filed for it. And we're getting on average, you know, eight to, I mean, sometimes one to two times the amount of the credit back. So it is a complicated credit. They've made it complicated, uh, the IRS code on this. <laughs> And so you do need to follow the rules and guides uh, to make sure that you, you're not getting in trouble on the back end as well. When you said IRS and complicated, I laughed because uh, they never make anything complicated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, All right. So we got about like, a minute, minute or so left. Uh, what would you tell folks who are, I mean, let's say we've got a business owner who's got 10 employees and uh, he, he, he was able to, he or she was able to survive through COVID. They may or may not have got a PPP loan, probably did. And now they're, you know, they're debating on whether to going to ERCaction.com and, and finding out about it. What would you tell them? I, I would tell them first is, what is the cost of this? They're probably wondering, okay, how much are you guys going to charge me? Well, the one thing we saw as a bottleneck is... Like you said, if you if the IRS is coming after you for money, you know they're going to be knocking on the door in, in a day. This actually takes six to eight months to receive the money. We decided we are not going to charge anything up front. We're literally going to walk them through the whole process, do the whole filing, and hold their hand until they actually receive the money. Once they receive it, our fee is 15%, whatever that credit is, when they get the money. So that was one thing we also said as far as um, you know, getting this off the ground is people don't want to sit there and wait for six to eight months after they paid for something for that long. So um, yeah. it literally will take eight to 10 minutes to go through the questions on ERCaction.com. And that point in a week or two, we're telling you how much you're approved for. Then we're sending off the IRS six to eight months later, you're receiving a check. So no upfront fees. And then when, when, and if they get the benefit, you get 15% of it. That's pretty, that's a pretty good deal to, to, as a business owner to get 85% of money you never would have got to begin with. <laughs> Correct. Well, it makes, yeah, exactly. it makes a lot of sense. Folks, I'd encourage you to go to ERCaction.com, find out what it would mean for you. And I really appreciate your time today. Thank Sounds you, Coach. Hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate Take care. It.